The Fur Hill faithful already worship at the feet of Chris Doolin and he gave them another reason to do so just seven minutes after coming on as a second-half substitute. His 101st league goal for the club must be considered among his most important. While a late equaliser at McDermott Park would ultimately render the result at Dens Park insignificant on paper, there is no telling what impact Doolin's intervention had on the Ross County players as they tried in vain to cling to their narrow lead. Thistle can now save their premiership status with a victory over Livingston in the playoff final. Even though it's been a miserable campaign for Alan Archibald's men, this result, coupled with history favoring the top flight side in these two-legged battles, should see them go into the head-to-head -head with confidence they'll complete the job. I thought it was important to get the win because we could use that little bit of momentum, said Archibald. Our performances after the split have been good but that's only our second victory, just 90 seconds had passed at ends when news of a county goal filtered through. The vocal away crowd were quickly subdued, though they were nearly given reason to be cheerful when Adam Barton's header forced home debutant Callum Ferry into a terrific save. The visitors couldn't maintain their strong start as Dundee began to get a foothold. Paul McGowan sparkled in the center and he went close twice in as many minutes before the half-hour mark. It was therefore a blow for the hosts, and for County, that McGowan was soon forced off with a hamstring strain. He had been the best player on the park and his absence was keenly felt. This ended the half the stronger, with Bart and Fresh Air swiping it across with the goal gaping before Miles Story thundered wide. Story was replaced by Blair Spittle for the second period. The sub almost had an immediate impact as his corner saw Danny Devine force Ferry into a save. It was then time for Dylan to make his priceless intervention. Running onto a through ball by Stephen Lawless, the striker flicked a finish beyond the advancing Ferry, sending the away fans into delirium. Dundee would apply some late pressure with Simon Murray seeing a shot blocked and Randy Walters forcing a save from Tomas Cerny. Thistle's reprieve was finally guaranteed a minute into stoppage time when happier news arrived from McDermott Park.